I want to first start then by going through a couple ideas, given that perspective that I have, of the connection between faith and science. Science has been undoubtedly incredibly productive in the last few years. And so, uh, you know, most people would probably say that is the great intellectual achievement of the last, say, 500 years, development of science. And this has led people to become very, um, very confident or very optimistic about the role of science. Um, one of the sort of extreme forms of this is sometimes called scientism. And uh, probably I can't do it justice, as well as uh, Bertrand Russell, who was one of the last century's great atheists, who said this. While it is true that science cannot decide questions of value, that is because they cannot be intellectually decided at all and lie outside the realm of truth and falsehood. Whatever knowledge is attainable must be attained by scientific methods. And what science cannot discover, mankind cannot know. Well, from a scientific point of view, as a scientist, the first instant reaction I had to this is, go Bertrand, this is fantastic, right? What science cannot discover, mankind cannot know. That sounds like a great reason to uh, start funding science at a higher level, and my grant ought to get bigger, and we all ought to you know, pay our respects to scientists. But if you think about it a little bit more, at least from my perspective, this starts unraveling a bit. Now first, the statement right in there, what science cannot discover, mankind cannot know, that's not a scientific statement. So you know, if that's the case, then how do we know that's true? So you get in this sort of circular thing, or this sort of these uh, Godelian conundrums start appearing, you know, things like that when you have a statement that says this statement is false. Probably more important is that um, for many of us, there are things that we think we know that aren't really described by science. So for example, um, there's a famous statement, um, these truths we take to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Um, most of us would sign on to that. And at the same time, that's certainly not a scientific statement. And finally, what he does acknowledge at the top here is that while it is true that science cannot decide questions of value, and that, you know, he does acknowledge it, but that is frankly a pretty large um, caveat here, right? There are whole fields of study that are not science. We have departments and universities studying them, philosophy, history, English, um, arts, where um, we do find them to be worth studying. They're very important. And we do find truth in that, um, yet they're certainly not scientific. Science can't answer questions like, um, you know, should you break up with your girlfriend or boyfriend tomorrow? Should you get married instead? Should you, um, you know, whatever. Why, why is this particular sonnet of Shakespeare beautiful? Why is that symphony of Mozart beautiful? There are all sorts of things that science clearly cannot answer, and um, yet they're of, of value, and they're things that um, we'd like to think about. 